My name is Julius Echon. I am from Uganda. I am Olympic runner and I run the children's charity in northern Uganda. Julius Achon has been running his entire life. Julius grew up in a poor village in northern Uganda. Villagers lived in fear of the Lord's Resistance Army, a ruthless government opposition group that would kidnap children and turn them into unwilling soldiers. One time in the evening hours, we were playing football. Then all of a sudden, they all appeared. We had to go. If you don't, they tell you we're going to shoot you. It was 1988, and Julius was just 12 years old. They would pick according to the ages, because they feel when you're younger than 10, you are unable to fight or walk. When you are at the age of 14, they do not take you because they think your mind would be very difficult to change into their system. Then, three months after he was kidnapped, Julius escaped during a chaotic government air attack on the rebel encampment. The government plane started shooting bombs, bullets, and every single person were running in a different direction. Nine of the 14 other boys who escaped were shot and killed, while Julius ran much of the 100 miles to reach home. I wanted to go back to see my mom, and I wanted to go back to school. Julius focused his energy on running. He'd heard about a championship race more than 40 miles from his home village, but there was no public transportation. I decided to set up to run to town and I ran 42 miles at the age of 13 and I made it to town. And reaching there, I competed the following day. I won three events. Julius eventually won a gold medal at the World Junior Championships. That's when American colleges were coming to me, recruiting me, they wanted me to come. I ended up choosing George Mason in Virginia. That's when I came to the United States. Julius represented Uganda in the 1996 and 2000 Olympics. Then, in 2003, during a training run in the Ugandan village of Lira, something happened that made Julius stop running. I saw these children laying under the bus, and I thought they were dead. And one of them got up, and I said, where are your parents? And they said their parents were killed. And I said, can I walk you to my place where my mom and dad were living? And I told my parents, can you take care of these children when I go to the United States? I will be able to send money for food. So here is the photo yes. of the original orphans with your brother, right? Yes. In 2007, Julius met Jim Fee, an American philanthropist who took an interest in Julius's story and helped him create the Achon Uganda Children's Fund. Now we have 44 orphans. The fund's mission is to improve the health, education, and self-sufficiency of rural Ugandans. A hospital named after Julius's late mother is one of the fund's major projects. So right now, we are treating average between 500 to 600 patients a month. There are child soldiers, there are Olympic runners, and there are humanitarians, but I'm not sure you're going to find all three in one person other than, other than this guy. At first, I never wanted people to know my background because I feel they would laugh at me. I found out later on, the more people hear my story, they wanted to help, and when they give me money, I use it in a right way. 